hello and blessings my beautiful souls so today i have an unboxing of a deck that i purchased for myself over the holiday period and i'm just excited to tuck into it really because i don't know i've just been really called to open it sometimes i buy decks and i leave them on my shelf for a really long time as a treat for future me uh, because I typically tend to buy more than one deck at a time. It's very rare that I go out and I just get one deck. I usually go out and I get five or I haul. Um, and I don't really share my hauls here on my channel because, let's face it, <laughs> I don't need... I, I would be... That's all I'd be sharing if that was the case. Um, I do love to collect tarot and I typically... You know, I'm quite discerning and I buy in bursts. So I might not buy tarot decks for months and months and then suddenly I just go out and I get a bit of a haul. So I guess in that way, it's not that bad. So this one is the Modern Witch Tarot Deck by Lisa Sterley, 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 oh, don't even. Sorry, Lisa, I didn't mean to butcher your name. Did not mean to butcher your name. <laughs> but I love this, like this right away at Smith with this beautiful, beautiful girl on the cover and in magician pose, like it's just cute. So let's like tuck into it let's open it like whatever the word is it's happening may so i got it in december and i'm unboxing it in may oh i like that it's like a drawer oh that's really <gasps> look at inside it's like got these really cute little printy things inside. Can you see it? I can't. I don't know if you can see it. But that's to protect it. I really quite like that. Oh, okay. So cardboard cuff. Much better. And I can use it for kindling in my fire. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. There's a plastic one. Bummer. Total bummer. Oh, they're a bit slippery. I can already tell. And we have a... This is quirky. This is a really great box, actually. I'm really liking this one. And here we have a hardback little white book. So that there is the print that is inside the box, just in case you can't see it. So we have tiny bits of information so here we have six seven ten you know so it's not a comprehensive guidebook but it is an elegant little white book which is very very nice high gloss sheen oh good cardstock hello who made this sterling ethos new york don't mind if i do i can sort of hear a car coming Oh, look at the back. It's that cold that I just breathed out and my breath is misting. So look at that backing. That's really pretty. So far, I am quite impressed. And it's a beautiful woman with like sandals, little puppy. She looks like she's going to Coachella, holding a mobile phone, about to fall off. A well, we've all been there holding a phone and not watching where we're going. <laughs> Let's do a flick through. Okay, so we're going to do a really nice little flick through. Oh, I love this magician. She is so pretty. This is the prettiest magician I've seen in a long time. High Priestess, not my favorite. Not my favorite. <gasps> Empress, yes. I love this Empress. Emperor. Ooh, very nice. And the Hierophant. This is an interesting, oh yeah, okay. I've got feelings about this one. I'm just, I'm uncertain, but I do like it. We have really unique lovers. I'm loving the, like the color palette. Oh, the chariot, look at you go. <laughs> That's fun. That's really fun. There's a fun, frisky, you know, really feminine, happy, bold kind of energy. 
that I'm feeling from this deck. Oh, I like the Hermit. Reminds me of my bestie, Alora. Alora, maybe white hair next time. <laughs> Actually, Anna's gone white with her hair. So grow it out, Anna. That'd be cool too. Wheel of Fortune, interesting Wheel of Fortune. Not, not here for it, not loving it. I do like, however, that we have some, you know, astrological goodness there. I was looking for it in others, but no, there's no others. Here's Justice, interesting. I'm not feeling too much from Justice. The Hanged One. No, it's cool, it's funky, it's fun. But no, not for me. Death. Don't mind if I do. Temperance. Oh, yes. I like temperance. Oh, I love those red wings. Love the rainbow shirt. Just, oh, she's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. Traditional devil. With a feminine sort of appeal. Okay, what have we got here? I've got the tower. This is actually reminding me a little bit of the Nine Lives Tarot by Annette Abelins, which was a self-pub deck, which I love, love, love. The star. I love the, the voluptuousness of this star. I love it. I think that's really beautiful. The moon. Look at this in the water. It's beautiful, beautiful. The sun. Okay. It's a little girl on the on the back of her. That could have been a unicorn. I could have seen that as a unicorn. Really interesting. Very happy. I'm not a huge fan of actually putting babies in the sun card. Don't ask me why. I have nothing against babies. I have three of them myself. But there's just something that I just... I don't like seeing it. I don't know why. I can't actually tell you why. We have judgment here. I just finished watching on Netflix that um, RIPD division, you know, and, you know, there was a judgment situation going on in that movie. It's a Netflix original, I think. Yeah, anyway, that made me think of it last night. <laughs> it was really interesting. <laughs> Not the best movie ever, but it was just different. We have the world here, which is quite nice. Okay, so we're into the wands. So we have, it's very Rider. It's a very, you know, Waitsmith Smith Tarot style. Two of wands. Oh, yes. I love that. It brings a modern edge to the Waitsmith Smith Tarot. It's my puppy clipping the background. Love the body diversity here. We have the Four of Wands. The Five. Really, really interesting. I love the Six of Wands. Just beautiful. Again, I feel like this should be a unicorn. I don't know why. I'm not even that, like, unicorn fond, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's not something that I, like, have a lot around me, but it just feels like it should be there. Do you know what I mean? Seven of Wands. Sassy. Then we have the Eight of Wands. Noble Steed. That's the motorbike. We have the Nine there. Followed by the 10. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. Then we have the page. Really beautiful page. Knight of Wands. Really good knight. Love the horse. Got a great eye. Then we have the queen. Then the king of wands. So I'm yet to see anything ultra masculine. So I would say that this is a predominantly feminine, sacred feminine, totally feminine deck. We will see as we move through. And that might bother some, you know, each to their own though. We all have different tastes when it comes to tarot and 
I'm a collector, so I look for lots of different things within my decks. That's a really pretty ace. That is a really pretty ace. Two of cups. Two of cups. Interesting. I always love the three. Love the skirt. Really mermaid vibe that I'm getting from this one right here. Really beautiful. Four of cups, followed by the five. Or oh, I'm itching to see the eight. Six of cups. We have the seven here. And then the eight. I'm not disappointed. Nine of cups. Settle down, Snowy. It's too cold outside for you. It is raining and it's cold. Ten of cups. He probably wants me to put on the fire. God knows I want to put on the fire. I will be doing that after this. Page of cups. The knight of cups. Again, there's that unicorn vibe I'm sensing. Oh, I thought I had two there. Sorry about that. Queen of cups. Beautiful queen. Oh, I love that. We have the king of cups. Oh, I'm digging this king. There's some poise there. There's some posture. That's a power pose. Ace of swords. Two of swords. Three of swords. Yeah, that's a good three, actually. We have the four here. That need for rest. Five of swords. A little defeat, a little power over. Six of swords, get me out of here. This situation sucks. <laughs> Seven of swords, suck it. <laughs> I'm taking him and I'm going. <laughs> Eight of swords, I can't really see my potential. I'm blind. I could get at it any time. Don't ask me why I'm doing this, folks. I just started. <laughs> I'm going with it. Oh my God, the anxiety, the panic. Can't sleep. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. I'm dead. I'm done. I'm over. Enough's enough. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Oh, that's a good knight. That's a strong knight. Then we have the Queen of Swords. I'm not getting what I want from the Queen of Swords. No, I'm just not. I'm not. And then we have the King of Swords. Kind of getting what I want from the King. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Balance. Ooh, the constant juggle of modern life. Oh, figure drawing. I probably should have said this a little earlier, but there is nudity. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Mine. It's all mine. <laughs> my own. My precious. Gollum would make for a nice one. Nice Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. That's how I feel right now. I'm literally outside of the comfort and warmth of my house. Freaking freezing. And not wearing the appropriate attire. At least I've got the appropriate attire on. Six of Pentacles. Gifts for everyone. I'm Santa. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, look at that. Nurturing the garden. She's got more of a contemplative kind of stare, doesn't she? Eight of Pentacles. We have the nine, the harvest. We have the ten. Look at that. Family, generations, ancestry. I like that. This is really good cardstock. Page of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. She's beautiful. <laughs> King of Pentacles. I wanted someone more voluptuous and robust. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. Everything is fine. 
I don't know what that is. But you are a badass. Being full of life, love and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. So, what do you think, folks? What do you think? Very slippery, like... The dangerously slippery. Like at any point, whoa! <laughs> can just fly out of my hand. So what do you think of this beautiful deck? Something that you like, something that you don't like? I know that many will be saying it lacks the sacred masculine. I hear you. I hear you. As far as diversity goes, I only saw a small amount of body diversity, although it was there, body diversity, um, ethnicity. I would have liked to have seen more, I don't know, more cultures represented. But then again, I take it for what it is. And I understand that when you make a deck, it's your creative vision. So beautiful. I actually really didn't mind it. It's really fun. It's not a deck that I would take very seriously if that makes sense because it just is so colorful it's so you know so modern it's funky it's fun uh, I think this would make a great kind of you know drinks with the girls kind of deck let's read with this deck you know drinks with the girls let's get together let's have a fun funky kind of time really great for you know quick direction maybe a little relationship reading maybe a little like feminine power um, a little career, that kind of thing. But I'd have to test it out really and see how it performs and, you know, what energy it sort of brings and how others respond to it as well. So a big part of, you know, how I work with decks is actually putting it in front of other people and saying, what do you think? It, it, their opinions actually don't sway my own in any way, shape or form, but it's interesting to see how others perceive something. And that's why I always ask, well, what do you think? What What is it that you see? Because sometimes... It can be a melding of perspectives that happens. So I see something, then you see something totally different. You might see a lack of something or the presence of something that I have totally missed. In which case, by sharing your thoughts, then I get to open up my perspective and take a lot more in. So this is why we share. This is why we share. All right, my beautiful souls, I hope you've enjoyed this full flip through of the Modern Witch Tarot deck by Lisa, last name I can't pronounce. And let me know what you think. Comment below, give this one a thumbs up, share it around if you think that there is someone in your life that would really, really love this deck. This is very, this feels like a very young deck, so I would probably recommend it to a younger person um, or a younger spirited person. And um, it could be a really good break-in deck for some. It appears to be very true to the Rider deck. So, could be a great learning deck for someone really young and someone who's just getting into it so let me know what you think much love and many blessings see ya